Nick. Nick. Oh. Julia? What? Am I okay? Uh, yeah. Basically. I feel okay. I feel good. Julia, I'm not a zombie. <laughs> not at all. What? Oh, no. Uh, 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 Nick, uh, I had to. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Where's my fucking body? Oh, fuck. Don't get mad. I didn't know what to do. How am I still alive? How am I still talking without a fucking thorax? I performed uh, a magical ritual on your head. It was really hard. And I don't mean to be a jerk, but I think maybe just a little bit of appreciation is in order. If I didn't chop off your head, the venom would have totally seeped into your brain and turned you into a zombie. Juliet? How? How do you know how to perform a magical ritual on my decapitated head? Um... Well, uh... Um? There's some stuff I didn't tell you before, okay? I didn't want you to think I was weird. I'm kind of, sort of... I... What? what? Uh, uh, Juliet? Don't know how to say it exactly. Zombies! Zombies! Come here and kill us now! I'm a zombie hunter. What? Oh, oh, oh fuck! Ah, ah, ah. Don't hate me! Because clearly zombie hunting is the most logical explanation for everything, so... <laughs> Welcome back for more Lollipop Chainsaw, you guys, and... Okay, I just want to say right off the bat here that this is actually a re-recorded session somewhat simply because the first one did not actually record the my computer was being an idiot and just I pressed the button it's just the light didn't uh, activate so we're gonna have to go ahead and re-record this which means I do have some upgrades and combos I did not have before as well as additional strength and health upgrades but we'll be able to see what I got later in a little bit so right here all right so with all the enemies done here what and the second thing you'll probably the second thing you'll notice is I'm wearing a different costume, and this is the Jimmy Urine costume, which you could get if you pre-ordered this game on GameStop, like I said before, I foolishly did. Oh my god. So, since we got another lollipop here, might as well go ahead and charge up again. What the hell was that? <laughs> so, you'll notice these lockers here, and you can destroy them open in order to get various goodies and zombie metals inside. And it's kind of dumb sometimes the hit detection on these, and... Okay, I guess we got an achievement there. We got an accidental vandalism. That's for destroying 300 destructible things. So I guess there we are with that. So yeah, there's a couple of other things I'll explain as we go through. But when we head into this classroom, hey, it's Mr. Fitzgibbon. <laughs> God, <laughs> any kind of math sucks. So we're gonna kill all these guys. You don't have to worry about Mr. Fitzgibbon quite yet. But we're just gonna destroy these guys so you'll notice next to my name and under my health there is actually a card there and that's a Nick card we'll get into that later but basically it's something that'll help us kind of fight zombies it's kind of like a special attack like our sparkle hunting mode but not really and we'll explain a little bit more on that later for now we're gonna kill the rest of these guys you'll notice I'm killing them quite a bit faster what <laughs> oh no more zombies <laughs> Who'd have ever have guessed? Well, anyway, in addition to getting our health and power upgraded, um, we also got a couple of new combos, which I'll demonstrate right here with the... Alright, I love that move so much. If you are using your zombie soul mode, on easier difficulties especially, it is extremely devastating, and I would highly recommend you get it as soon as you can. I don't think it was the one that we were able to get before, but I was really... I love that one, so let's try another one. Ah, we got to get bitch slapped by the stupid zombie. Alright, die. So, oh yeah, I'll show more off later. They're pretty badass, so... Alright, we're almost all done here. And pretty much for the rest of the game, it's gonna turn basically into Shadows of the Damned and No More Heroes, like, hardcore with everything. I'll just point out little things that definitely remind me of it. But hey, everyone's dead! Hey, Mr. Fix, give an asshole! Yeah, you keep on running, ass! And you'll notice on the chalkboard here, self-destruct tutorial. I can't really make out what his handwriting says, but let's get out of here, shall we? To the hallway. Oh god, I missed it. Sorry, camera. So anyway, we head over here for another slight cutscene. What's going on? Don't worry. I'll take care of 
<laughs> banging her head there. Oh no, we have to go save him. He needs our help. He's not Sting. He cannot sustain himself in the land of SOS. So we're going to run over here. And I'm going to show off the Nick card right over here once we got everyone over. Oh, get off me. Right. Okay. Can you? Okay. Here we go. You click the left thumbstick. And with this. <laughs> Nick Toss, ladies and gentlemen, here we have our special move that we can use to drowsy out all of the enemies in our specific area, which is actually not too bad, and you're definitely going to use this strategically. All you basically have to do is spam A, X, or Y, and you'll be pretty much good to go. You can stop it prematurely if you wish, so you can get some pretty good sparkle hunting, but other than that, right there, it's really easy, and I apologize if my sparkle hunting has been very unspectacular for the past couple of episodes. I still have to upload the first episode here shortly, but I have to get around editing that. So I'm sorry, please don't get in my case about that. It's a little difficult when you're really weak right now. We don't really have much at our disposal other than our chainsaw and our palm bashes. So with that being said and done, we have not only one area to go, but as the camera will suggest, we have two, two areas. What do you got to say for yourself, man? Uh, no, you are a pussy. You have some pretty good kung fu moves, but I'm not going to indulge your request to have sexual intercourse. So, yeah, here's some more lockers. As you can tell, they're kind of annoying to get open all the way, so I'll probably be skipping most of them. Come on, there we go. Got something else at the chop to shop. And die. All right, cool. So not too bad. Uh, there we go. I think we're good for that on now. So let's go into this door first and stop turning left prematurely. What the hell is he doing? No, wait, no, we'll save you from being dissected. Just kidding, she'll die regardless, so don't worry. You can only save the enemies, or the, the students that are SOSing, otherwise you will not be able to save them. So kill this dude, and here we've got another move I'm gonna show off right here. Nope, right, no. Uh, once I get a chance to, we'll, uh, jump over. Nope, just kidding. And, uh, uh, damn it, there, there we go. That's XXXY, I forgot what that was called, but it's actually a fairly good move, so. I think I used it without really realizing it. Over here, kill this dude right there, and whoop, death please. All right, thank you very much. So with the enemies being done in this room, which I would suggest doing first before going to this one, I'm not sure if you can go into this one, because whatever. I'm gonna open this door, and what the, another. I need help. Oh, God forbid we have a teacher in the classroom. So, unfortunately, we don't have our zombie star gauge filled up all the way, so we won't be able to uh, sparkle hunt the teacher, which is a very good point. If you want to do that, go ahead and uh, do that. Wait, oh, he didn't, or maybe he did, whatever. So, we're going to go kill his two cronies first and just avoid him. He's a fairly easy teacher. As you can tell, I already killed him, but um, I didn't get much farther after this, maybe just like 10 more minutes or so. And this is a fairly long level. I mean, while there are, I think, only six levels, they have a fairly decent amount of length and replayability to them. But like I said, it basically follows the outline of No More Heroes and Shadows of the Damned, and I, I, I kind of enjoy that, but at the same time, it's kind of, it's, it, you can definitely tell the Suda51 influence on this. I mean, yeah, it is directed by him, but it kind of seems like uh, a lot of his games are very similar to each other, which isn't a bad thing, because I love Suda51 to death. God knows Goichi Suda is, like, amazing, but, oh, no, that was a bad idea. All right, so, oh, also another upgrade we got was to be able to get up off the ground a lot faster. So die, oh, now he's going to be rabid. So now we got to take him out and get behind, I uh, can't see anything. Uh, good, uh, all right, come on, uh, it's taking a while. That scrotum is really thick, come on, yeah! <laughs> so Fitzgibbon is dead. Oh, you asshole. <laughs> so let's go talk to, the oh, and we saved him. What? What? What the hell is this? Suda51, you seriously did not just put in time bomb walking zombies in another one of your games. Why would somebody do that? I mean, what is this, Killer7? I mean, I was gonna just stick to the No More Heroes and Shadow of the Dam references, but now that you've got the heaven smile in this goddamn game, it's gonna be impossible for me to play it. So, oh my god. The incompetence of the police forces at hand. We've got to go save them. Yes, a cheerleader with a chainsaw is just the thing. Oh my god. Well, that sucks for them. <laughs> oh, Nick. God, I love how Nick is basically the Johnson of this game. I mean, that is just so awesome. Johnson is just probably one of my favorite supporting characters of all time. But here we've got another nice Juliet moment. And what the? A decapitated body head? What? 
We need to break through that wall. Can you give me a hand? Uh, yeah, right. I don't have a hand to give. <laughs> well, not yet, but that spell I cast on you gives you some magical powers. Ooh. Like, maybe I can connect you to this zombie's body and you can temporarily use it. Huh? <laughs> I love that so much he's like, what? Huh? <laughs> Oh, and then we got a little mini game here. The game calls it a mini game. I just call it a quick time event. <laughs> he calls himself a jock. Look at how he throws the goddamn thing. Oh no 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 no! And with that, we caught him. So with that, we got another lollipop. I think I actually just wasted a slot on my lollipop. <laughs> I love Nick, he's just so nonchalant about the entire thing. He's like, I'm a fucking decapitated head, who gives a shit? So anyway, we're gonna destroy a couple of these since we're right in front of the chop to shop shop, and alright, so... Alright, we're pretty much done with those lockers, so let's go ahead and, uh, I'll just show you guys pretty much what I bought in the last playthrough or whatever, so... It was for health upgrades, or health and upgrades rather. We've got our general stuff here. I'm gonna buy another Nick ticket here since those are actually pretty useful and for only 30 zombie medals, they're not bad. Now you'll notice the fruit poot juice. This is just our health upgrades right here. And I already bought two of them, so now we've got this one we gotta get later. And then we got the power dumbbells and then the aromatic yoga, which lets us get up faster. So pretty self explanatory. We'll get more later. And for our awesome skills, these are kind of difficult to explain without actually pff, click click without actually uh, seeing them in battle. But the armadillo spin and the chainsaw full swing are two of them that you definitely want to get. Now avoid the cheerleader chain if you can because it is not very good and makes sparkle hunting difficult. We're gonna go ahead and buy the chainsaw uh, chain here since I haven't had a chance to buy that one quite yet and it's a little pricey. With that being said and done, um, we've got threads, which as you guys can imagine is more costumes, which you buy with your platinum medals. And we'll use that later, along with uh, the addition of MP3s, which are pretty good. I, for the most part, they seem royalty free, but for the, but also we've got the concept art. So all of this is pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not going to spend too much time here. So with that being said and done, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and run down this uh, very vague hallway, I guess. And, wow. 